Steven Weirich's going to give us a tour of an Apple II built in the game Minecraft. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for all waking up today for this. I appreciate that. Does anybody, who here does already know about the game Minecraft? So we got about half the people here. So half of you don't know about it. I found a couple of uh, what are called trailers uh, for the game that would kind of just uh, demonstrate what it's about a little bit for you. And you got to play. It's it's made kind of a a blocksy, almost pixelated world where the stuff you work with generally is not much smaller than this about a meter cube, and that involves includes leaves of trees, pieces of trees. Not hearing the music though. Well, maybe the music isn't playing on this one because because obviously there's sound coming from the computer. Is the YouTube volume down? Ah, YouTube volume's off. That's why. Light goes off. Ah, better. Thank you. That just gives a, a brief overview of what is happening in the game. Um, with this game, you can you don't you start off with a world that looks like those worlds you saw in there, where it's just all pristine, and you have hills and mountains and valleys, and there's oceans and there's deserts and there's uh, all kinds of snow biomes they've made, and uh, the uh, Stuff underground is things that you can mine for uh, elements. It's very much a pulling yourself up by the bootstraps to get yourself going game. Because when you first start out, you have down here. You can see I've got uh, nine slots with items in them that I've crafted or, or collected or whatever. But you start off with nothing here. You have your lights, of course. If you've made armor, that's where that goes. But the first thing you have to do is sun, it's morning on the first day, you have to go find a tree and hit the tree until you knock wood out. When you have enough wood, you make a workbench. You take some more wood and you make a, a pick, a wooden pick and a wooden shovel. You can use the wooden pick to mine rock to help you make a stone pick. Uh, you want to try to find, if you can, some coal so you can make a torch. Because you, what you're working for that first day, if you're playing on the regular survival mode, they call it, is you have to make sure that you get a shelter made in time before nighttime comes. Because nighttime, when there's enough darkness in this game, in any place that you're at, whether it's above ground or underground, uh, bad creatures spawn. They have zombies, they have skeletons that shoot arrows at you, they have spiders, um, and we have uh, the creepers that come and blow things up. Um, so you want to get yourself in a protected area before nightfall so that you can protect yourself against that. And then it's just a matter of just gradually accumulating resources, getting yourself underground so you can mine and find iron that you can use to make the, an iron pick, which is stronger than a stone pick. If you can dig deep enough, you can get yourself diamonds. You can make a diamond pick, and that lasts a lot longer. Um, so all the stuff that's on here, you can there's pieces of gold you can find, and there's something called redstone, which is kind of like an electrical property item. You can put gold and redstone together and make yourself a clock. And you can make a compass. 
and you know it's, it's a lot of stuff that you find it find it easier to use when you have all those extra things now this server you can do it as a, a game that you play by yourself or you can play it with other people um, this is a server that my son had put together that was actually being run out of a spare PC in our house and his friends were connecting to it uh, and I got involved with it too so a lot of the stuff that you see on the outside here is stuff that they made now I've got this running on here now instead of on the server at our house so I've turned the monsters off so I don't have to worry about dealing with them at night while I'm showing this to you but when it's nighttime this is where you want to be either in a safe place or like this up high enough that the monsters can't get to you uh, they made these glass walkways which I'm standing on top of right now to use to get from place to place at night without having to worry about going over the ground where the monsters were going to be at and you use your mouse to move around your perspective there's the Sun going down and depending on what you have lit up you will you know see various things uh, at night like if you if you saw the video I had put on YouTube that showed this Apple II I'm walking on top of this glass walkway right now down inside of it but there's the logo that I'd made and that's uh, you know you see it's like three levels there's like three layers of purple here and a player is two two levels high so this thing is huge and in, now with these hearts the way I'm playing right now unless I jump from a very high point even though I lose a lot of hearts I will it'll gain them back for me in survival mode you have to find some food to eat to make your hearts come back and if you happen to fall from way up here when you're working on this you probably will die and then you respawn in the place that you started at originally and you go back and find your stuff and you try again and I'm going to uh, uh, go back here and change the clock to uh, oh I can do this with a command yeah it's not that one it's all right I'll just put the bed down it's easier Uh, the guy who made the game eventually came up with the concept of making a bed. You could put that and then you can go to sleep so when it's nighttime then the, you know, the light's back on you can see what you're doing again. And you break your bed to pick it up. All right, so uh, after I made my Apple logo, that's a hot air balloon there. After I made my Apple, oh, that's the other thing about this game is that uh, there's two kinds of material sand and gravel that don't stay up in the air everything else that you make if you put it someplace and then knock the bottom out from underneath it it just stays hanging there that's why the Apple logo is floating above ground that's why some other items here are floating above ground and somebody didn't like my Apple logo so he had to make the <laughs> windows the windows one in front of it there um, let's go and get oh, I'll walk on top of the thing that's easier to see So over here to the right, they made a glass greenhouse where they you could grow. Again, we want to protect yourself against the zombies and things, so we can grow stuff for food at night. Uh, there's cactus that you can use for materials to uh, to make dye for colors. Uh, that, that's why everything on here you have to have the right dyes to make the colors. So to make the colors on the Apple logo, I had to find the right materials to do that. And since we were playing this as a survival mode, there is a mode you can just give yourself anything you want. I can give myself a hundred diamonds or whatever, but uh, they were enforcing the uh, the uh, survival mode which meant that you had to craft everything yourself so this was the building that I had made and you can see off the back here there's the Apple II we had made somebody made a Mega Man up there and I will uh, well I'll go inside all this building was was it was a mountain it was a piece of mountain before uh, I came in here and hollowed out the inside of it and uh, made uh, these rooms and floors Let's see, let's go out this Oh, that's a wolf. You can tame a wolf and then he becomes a dog. And interestingly, if I, I've had times out here where there's like a spider in the morning that I'm attacking. The spiders don't disappear when morning comes. The other monsters, they'll burn up in the morning, except the creepers and the spiders. So if the spider's out there and I, he op I open the door and he's attacking me, the dog, who is actually in a sit right now and he won't move anywhere, he'll come out of his sit and start attacking the spider. So he's, he's loyal that way. 
And most of the rest of the stuff you see here is just decoration. It's just stuff that people put up. Uh, before I show you the Apple II, I'm going to just show you my Apple Store. <laughs> so, with the primitive torches, primitive torches in there, and we have the iPhone. You make glass out of sand. You have to make a furnace, put coal in the furnace, put sand in the furnace, and out comes glass, and you can put glass up. No, they can't. Uh, they, uh, no, the creepers, if the creepers, if the creep, if you have this door shut, you have a creeper standing outside there, they'll stand and look at you and maybe move back and forth as you move back and forth. But if I was to break this glass so that there's like air between me and the creeper, they'll blow up. If I have the, if I have the hole in the glass there and just a skeleton, he'll shoot arrows at me. Uh, the zombies, they can't get through and the spiders can't get through unless you make two horizontal ones and they can get through those. So you can do things to defend yourself depending how you set it up. But here I've got my ads for the Mac all in, iMac all-in-one goes all out, and the iPhone 4 now available in white, and the iPad 2, and the MacBook Air. And here's our genius bar, and who that's who's next to be tree, uh, seen. So it's just, you know, you're, you're only limited by your imagination, and then how small can you craft something? I mean, clearly I would love to put some little Macintoshes and iPads and stuff like that on those counters, but my smallest item is this block that's about a meter square. And so uh, it's not possible uh, to do that with the game as it stands right now. This has all been, you might say, um, tamed land around here. This is also tamed because we've been playing it for so long. We were playing this for like several months. And you see these hundreds of torches around there. Well, that's because, I told you, at nighttime is when, if there's enough darkness, that's when monsters will spontaneously spawn. I found if you put torches down every five blocks, they don't spawn. So I've got torches, like, everywhere. So it's easier to actually play this stuff and not have to worry about somebody, you know, coming and getting at me. Oh, there's some of our creatures in the game, by the way. <coughs> Uh, sheep is where you get the wool, the Apple II logo, and that Microsoft logo. That's actually was made with sheep's wool that's been dyed with the various dyes. So you come over here and you can... Uh, they used to have it so you just hit the sheep and the wool would fall off. Now you have to craft shears and cut the, sh the stuff off the sheep. Well, they're, they're making it uh, so it does more. And for those who are fans of Mega Man, that's the uh, person he's fighting in this little battle here. And Mario fans, they put a sun up in the sky like the one in Mario 3, I think, or Mario 2. So anyway, back to the Apple II. As you can see, it's got, you know, I made it at this, at this scale just because of that, that inherent blockiness that you're stuck with. I started actually making something that was going to be twice the scale, but if I had just like the, the mode where you could simply give it to yourself, give yourself, I would have done that because you could make it look smoother, it would look a little better, but the time involved in crafting enough stuff to put it in there was so intense that it's like I didn't want to go through all that. And the one, if you saw the video on YouTube that I put up, you saw it was not this nice beige colored stone, it was uh, gray uh, like this stuff here. And that's because to make this sandstone, you have to either find sandstone or you have to take four pieces of sand and block it together to make one sandstone. And there's hundreds of pieces of sandstone to make this up. So after I put it on my own server, I just gave myself a bunch of sandstone to make it look more accurate. But there are the two. This, this would be a model of the original Apple II Plus, uh, or Apple II Standard, I suppose, either one, with the two floppy drives and the monitor playing brick out. Um, we'll just jump up here and here on the climb up the ladder on the side to get up there. Oh, and you can do a um, let's see here. Oh, I just saved the screenshot. I don't know what I was planning on doing. That's that's seeing me from behind there. I've got I've got uh, diamond armor on right now, but that's what the guy looks like from behind. If you want to look at it with that mode. The keys and the keyboard clearly were not easy to make either, so I just made those out of gray stuff. And up here, the logo, that's the best you could do with the logo without making it much larger. As you saw, the, the Big Apple logo looked pretty good because I had enough detail I could make the round curves. This way, nah, can't do it. 
And there's this just kind of odd perspective you have as you're looking at everything. It looks almost distorted when you're so close up to it like this. Um, here's the inside of the, the monitor, too, faithfully reproduced, of course. So the inside of the picture tube, got the plug on there attached to some uh, sophisticated electronic circuitry back here. That yellow one is the video out signal. And of course, since it's so big, you have to climb around in it. So I've got ladders to uh, get me up to the top. And notice even the sun in the sky is square. <coughs> So here's, here I'm standing on the top of the monitor, carefully looking down on the keyboard. Oh, and then of course over here I made the box of floppy disks with one on the ground. So we'll go back down inside here. All right, so we're now in the depths of the Apple II. What's that? Yes, I actually intended, I forgot to do that, I intended to replace that with all uh, iron pieces which look kind of like silver blocks so they would be a little bit more like it, but I, I forgot to finish that. Uh, we're standing on the motherboard and actually we have a dog in this apple too. <laughs> and a door. He kind of guards it. Yeah, these things in the floor here are storage chests because when you're, when you're making things, as, as I told you, if you die, you, all your pieces are scattered around you, and if you don't get back to them within like five minutes, they disappear. So when you make stuff, you want to make this thing where you can store things. So I've got stuff I've collected and stored here. I've got gunpowder. You can make gunpowder to make dynamite to blow things up, but it's so destructive, it destroys good stuff as well as bad stuff, so you generally don't do that. Um, coal, lots of coal that I've been collecting. Um, all right, so on the inside of the Apple II, and clearly the inside of the Apple II does not have all these lovely holes with lights in the ceiling, but again, the room, things get dark inside of things pretty easily. So if you don't put lights up, you find yourself either having trouble seeing what you're doing or get monster spawn. So I just got it lit up as much as possible. Here we have the floor of the motherboard, which if I was going to do it true to life, I should have changed this all to green, and I didn't. Uh, again, the crafting was just kind of tedious. Those are the chips on the motherboard, which I tried to reproduce as closely to the original layout as possible. There's some pins on the right side here underneath the keyboard that uh, I tried to put in there too. Uh, over here we've got our slots. Nothing's in slot 7. We have a disc 2 controller card in slot 6. And that gray stuff there is the cable coming off the disc 2 controller going outside to the disc drives. No rainbow What's that? No rainbow uh, nope, nope. And I couldn't, couldn't make that work. And there's the 6502 processor, all in it, all its glory there. And this is not a heavily loaded Apple II. I've got a serial card in slot one, and a 16K RAM card in slot zero. And like I said, the power supply. And yeah, and there's sheep outside. What's that? They look smaller than the rest of the... These things here? The, the chips. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you can make uh, slabs of stone. These are, this would be a type of a crafted stone that you can make out of... Well, the first, if you break up stone like this, which is how most of the stone in the game looks, you end up with something that's called cobblestone. So if I take and put this piece of... Oops, come back here. If I put this piece of uh, cobblestone here on top of the block, that's... Well, <laughs> on top of the torch. That's what it looks like, which is not as pretty as regular stone. Uh, if you take this and put it together, you can make these half-height uh, things, and that's where I made the half-height ones on there to get all the chips on the motherboard. There you can make half-height ones out of, out of wood and I think the sand also if you want to make steps out of them. And we'll just go upside and take a look inside the disk drive back between the monitor and the floppy disk. And here's the, I did replace the floor of the disk drive, and that's got uh, uh, metal on it. No mechanism in here, so unfortunately it won't actually read floppy disks. 
somebody who uh, was very creative took this red stone, this, this uh, red glowing stuff that you can find and put on the ground, and they actually crafted, it took like acres of land uh, in the game too, they crafted an actual working 16-bit uh, processor that when you, you could make it add two numbers, which I thought was like, people have got, well, people who do what I did have a lot of time on their hands, but people who do that have really got a lot of time on their hands. But it just shows that there are some sophisticated things you can do in this game if you uh, take the time to do it. Ordinarily, all this land out here at nighttime would be dark, would be black. And you might or might not see monsters roaming around down there. And clearly, I have found a lot of coal, and I've put a lot of torches out to avoid that. Yes? <laughs> this, is my, this is my downtime thing. The, the, if anybody ever gets involved with playing this, if you find it motive, uh, uh, interesting as, uh, as we did, I'm going to just be crazy and I'm just going to jump. Ugh. The crazy thing about that is that even though I'm not jumping, I still have this kind of feeling when you fall from some place as if you're actually falling. But anyway, if anybody... Maybe I am, I don't know. Uh, if you actually would get involved with playing this, you may find that this is uh, this can be a real time sink. It'll suck a lot of time out of you just because it's 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 fascinating. You know, people play World of Warcraft in, in interminably long, and they find other games that they they like. They play all the time. This one is is like you just get so involved with building things and creating things. Oh, I can make this, or oh, I can make that, and you end up with a lot of stuff uh, that you've wasted time on. In the back here, I've got, of course, the plug from the inside going up here to the monitor. And there's the cable leading from the uh, disk controller card going up to the back of both floppy disks. I have a giant white electrical outlet on the ground to plug in both the computer and the monitor. And I, oh, I don't need this dirt here. I don't know why the dirt's sitting there. I probably was using it to fix something. And uh, then here's where the power cord plugs into the computer. And I thought I had, oh, I didn't replace it on there. I had a power switch on the side of this too, but I had a creeper explosion here and I had to recreate everything and I forgot the power switch. How much of the waste Pardon me? How much of the waste disposal problem? It all vanishes. That's right. It, it, it does get rid of, it. sure, sometimes it gets rid of the stuff that you wanted, like that diamond pick I spent so much time looking for diamonds to, uh, uh, to take care of. And that's pretty much just, uh, showing you the Apple II and just a little bit of the world. Oh, and then if you cut the bottoms out of trees, they'll just float in the ground, float in the air like that. They don't die, they just float. Um, questions? Yes? When you're making these tools, are there a set number of tools or way to make tools? Or you're oh, actually making them yourself? That's, that's a good question. I'll show you how that works here. Let's just go up here to where some of these trees are, and we'll sacrifice a tree to get some wood. So you start out the game, you got nothing. You see, so you start by hitting a tree until you break that. So I have two pieces of wood now. Do I have my workbench with me? Yes, I do. Okay, that makes it easier. You make a workbench, which I don't have to because I've got one in my hand now. Put that down. Okay, so now I've got the wood. I take the wood and I make planks. Okay, now I've got eight planks. I can take the planks and make sticks. So I've got 16 sticks now. Sticks are good for making torches. They're good for making pretty much every tool there is using to make these ladders. You use planks to make doors. Uh, but now I've got a stick. I take and put two sticks here. And I take three pieces of stone. This is all right clicking. I'm using to drop a single piece at a time. And there I have a pick, a stone pickaxe that I can take off here and put it down here. If I only have uh, two pieces here, it's a shovel. If I use it like that, it's a it's a hoe. Because uh, you can also har uh, hoe the ground and grow wheat and stuff like that to make food. Um, and if I put them down like this, it's an axe, which makes it faster cutting down uh, trees. Uh, so the, the things that you put together look kind of like the item that you want to do. If you want to make a bow, you take and you put uh, a piece of wood here and here and here and a string like this, and you have a bow. Uh, arrow is a piece of flint. 
a stick and feathers. You get feathers off of uh, chickens if you kill the chickens, or if you kill zombies, for some reason they drop feathers too. Uh, before they had chickens, yeah, that's right. They had they had to have some way of getting feathers, so they made the zombies drop uh, feathers. Other questions? Maybe there were zombie chickens. In, uh, there's another place in this uh, game called the Nether. If you craft the proper portal, you can go to the Nether, which is kind of like an underground hell thing. It's got it's very dark. There's lava uh, waterfalls all over the place. There is something called glowstone, which is a nice light source if you can get it. And uh, there can be zombie pigmen there that if you find them and attack them, they as a horde they will come and get you, and you probably won't survive. Uh, and there's skeletons and there's zombies down there too. Any other questions? I have a couple other trailer things I was going to show you just because it was fun. Uh, you win by finishing the thing that you made. Uh, actually, uh, Notch, the guy who makes the, um, who's, who's, who made the game, I mean, uh, the game has been immensely popular. It's still in beta, and it's immensely popular. Uh, he says that when, in his next major update, he's going to come up with something that actually has uh, an adventure mode where there's actually some objectives that you have to uh, fulfill <laughs> in order to successfully complete the game. You have to go to a village and find something, or you have to trade for something. or It's not going to just be this random uh, building. There are people who, who have simply done nothing but creative mode. Creative mode is where you can give yourself anything you want to. You turn off the monsters so you don't have people blowing things up. And that's where people have built amazing things. Again, remember the scale of the Apple II was small enough to be visible as an Apple II, but, or big enough to be visible as an Apple II, but small enough to not be too hard to make. Somebody made the USS Enterprise D from Star Trek in, in, in detail so, I think the size of a person walking through the hallways that would be like six inches tall compared with what they made it all. They made, so they made huge rounded shapes. They call it constructing mega objects in Minecraft. There's a video that shows that here. Um, SimCity is another kind of a crafting game, I suppose you could say, but it has a little, it has some more rules that you uh, uh, that are just way different than this. And this was a, mi a video somebody made. What? Play the video. Oh, it's a replay. Pardon me. Tough guy. That's what a diamond block looks like. I have no idea how somebody made that. That, that impresses me. And we have people who are creative with songs. Thank you. 
store, cradles from God of War, mushroom store, liquor store, statue of Dumbledore, wooden shed with the bed, spiders and the undead, arrowhead, local bread, giants full of golden threads. I saw the sparkle in the dark, I put my axe right through that heart, and at last I found me some diamonds. Oh, I'm so happy I could ride them. Riding a pig is something that you're supposed to be able to do in the game. You just have to find a saddle. Yeah, you have to find. There's dungeons in the game. If you hear, if you find this right kind of rock called mossy cobblestone behind it, there's a dungeon. There's a spawner in the middle of it, which will continuously spawn monsters until you kill them all and then destroy the spawner or put lights around it. And in the dungeon, there's usually some of those treasure chests, and they may have things that you can't find elsewhere in the game. Cocoa beans for making brown dye, and uh, saddles is uh, some other some stuff like that. So, that's uh, that's what I've wasted my time on recently. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with history; it just was fun. So you mentioned you set up your own server, so there's software you install on the server. Right there, you can download the server. In fact, I'm running I'm running the server on here now to play the thing I just did. And if anybody wanted to connect to it and try it out, or just walk around in the world I've got there. If you've got Minecraft, I can give you the IP address uh, so that you can connect to it here. No, it does not run on the Apple IIGS. If I had been really creative, I would have sat down and said, for my project, I'm going to make an Apple II 2D version of Minecraft. Didn't do it. I suck. But you know. <laughs> I really wanted to waste time. I definitely could have done that, but I didn't and want to waste that much time. Someone else's server is a subscription service. Usually, your house that. Have there are hacks that people have made. It's not part of the original game where they have said that uh, you can like visit a server, but you can't do anything unless you earn the right to do it, or you. I suppose people have got so you have to pay something in order to have the right to play in the game. They have people have made. Uh, I, I tried one of those things. There's a service on the website for the Minecraft that you can connect to, and some of them have. Uh, worlds where you've got to go find things and turn it in to sell it for money in the game and when you have enough money then you can buy the right to own your own land and when you own your own land you can build your own stuff and it's it gets very complicated as far as how people set it up. This was just more or less a free-ranging server we had where everybody agreed to not mess with everybody else's stuff. Uh, there is this thing called griefing that people do where somebody you've built a beautiful thing in Minecraft and then you come back tomorrow and somebody's destroyed it or they've taken out all the stairs, or something like that. It's called griefing, and uh, we just had an understanding amongst the, oh, probably about ten people not to grief other people's stuff. So, anything else? I think there's a question about the client's free. Oh, the, uh, the, cli the client is free. Well, let me see about this. To, to get the game, you have to get. You have to. You have a username, and for some reason, to authenticate yourself to play the game, even on your own server, it still has to connect to the internet. No, that's not true. You can turn the internet off and still do it. If you want to play more people on a server than just you yourself, you have to authenticate to Notch's server so that they know that you're a legal player, and then you can go anywhere you want to. So the game, I think, it was 9.95. In alpha mode, and I think in beta, maybe it went up slightly, and maybe it'll be fifteen or twenty dollars in uh, final mode. Uh, but once you bought it, you have it forever, and you can keep playing it. Uh, you just every so often there's an update you download, and if they make a significant update, you have to update the server software too, so it incorporates the fact that now there is a new kind of monster, for example, or it has a new kind of rock that you can mine for. But there are like seven or eight different servers and softwares, and they're free, so you can set up a server. And yeah, and there's there's there, there's uh, server sets and there's patches that people have put in there, hacks they put in there to do different things. There's hacks that let you fly, which are not legal on some servers because that's too easy. There's hacks that let you see everything through the uh, X-ray hacks, let you go down to the ground and see all the diamonds. I put one of those on once and I collected a whole bunch of diamonds that way because otherwise you have to strip mine downstairs. You just have to make a long <laughs> tunnel, look around it, make another tunnel two blocks over, look around it, and you find stuff, but it's a very slow and tedious process. Much easier if you can just cheat by X-raying. Oh, they can play for free if you register. Oh, that's true. That's right. There is a creative mode on the on the browser. 
Yeah. They have, uh, uh, as far as platforms, they have um, Macintosh, Mac OS X. They have Windows, and I think they have a Linux one that'll uh, that you can do. Our server at home is running on Ubuntu, which is a brand of Linux, uh, although we have not actually tried playing the game from that server. So that's everything. Thank you.